Today I've got a really nice integral that was my submission to the Heidelberg University Integration B this year. So we're going to find the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 to the natural log of x over x plus x times 2 to the natural log of x. Okay, so let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is observe that we can factor an x out of the denominator and that leaves us with well, essentially the same thing, but without that common factor of x for those terms in the denominator. Okay, nice. But now it looks like this term that's left over after that factorization is, well, it's exactly a summed geometric series. So we have the starting term, 2 to the power natural log of x over 1 minus the common ratio. It's just like our common ratio here has a minus sign built into it. But now using our geometric series summation formula, we'll have the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity, the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x, and then we'll have the starting term, so that'll be 2 to the power natural log of x times the common ratio, which is minus 2 to the power natural log of x raised to the n power, then dx. But now I'm going to move some stuff around. I'm going to rewrite this as the sum as n goes from 0 up to infinity of minus 1 to the n, and then we'll have the integral from 0 to 1 of, well, observe this will be 2 to the n plus 1 times natural log of x over x dx. And that's from taking this n right here and bringing it into the parentheses and then combining these two things with a base of 2. And now, well, let's focus on this numerator of the integrand and see how we can simplify that. So this is going to be 2 to the natural log of x raised to the n plus 1. But then I can take 2 and rewrite it as e to the natural log of 2, and then that's raised to the natural log of x to the n plus 1. But now we can use this trick that when we've got this association of exponents, we can simply switch the order of the exponents. So that'll bring the natural log of x to the n plus 1 inside and the natural log of 2 outside. So what's that going to leave us with? Bringing down, we've got the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n, still our integral from 0 to 1. And now, like I said, we'll have e to the natural log of x to the n plus 1, which simply gives us x to the n plus 1. So like I said, x to the n plus 1. And then, and then that is raised to the natural log of 2. And then all of that is over x dx. Okay, so we're looking good. Now let's maybe bring it up here and see where we can go from there. We've got our sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the n, our integral from 0 to 1, and then we have x to the n plus 1 times the natural log of 2 minus 1 dx. And that's just from simplifying this monomial. But now we can apply the power rule for integration, and that simplifies quite a bit. That'll leave us with the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n. And then we'll have, let's see, it'll be x to the n plus 1 times the natural log of 2 over n plus 1 times the natural log of 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. Now, obviously, evaluating that at 0 gives us 0. Evaluating that at 1, we'll simply put a 1 in the numerator. So then I can also factor our 1 over natural log of 2 out, and then we have this sum as n goes from 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the n over n plus 1. And I think it's likely that uh, that sum is familiar, at least to the people solving this during the integration B, but we're going to calculate it just uh, for completeness here. So I'm going to rewrite this as follows. I'm going to rewrite this as minus 1 over the natural log of 2. And then the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 evaluated from 0 to negative 1. 
And then actually, I'm gonna take this minus sign and bring it back in and make this an evaluation from minus one to zero as that like looks a little bit nicer. Okay, now I'm gonna take this bit that I'm underlining in orange and I'm gonna apply the fundamental theorem of calculus to rewrite that as an integral. So that'll leave me with, I still have this natural log of two in the denominator, and then the sum is n goes from zero up to infinity of our integral from minus one to zero of x to the n dx. But now what we can do is bring that integral outside and we're left with a, a geometric series that we can sum again. We have one over the natural log of two, the integral from negative one to zero of one over one minus x dx. As that's the well-known sum of that geometric series. Now we can take the antiderivative. That's gonna leave us with minus natural log of the absolute value of one minus x over natural log of two, evaluated from minus one to zero. Evaluating that at zero will give us zero. Evaluating that at minus one gives us the natural log of two in the numerator, but it's attached to this minus sign. Oh, but it's the lower bound of integration or evaluation, so that's an extra minus sign. Those two cancel, and that leaves us with natural log of two over natural log of two, meaning the final value of this integral is one, and that's a good place to stop.